Good morning guys, uh, Digger Dan here from Digger Dan Metal Detecting. Um, I thought I'd uh, do a little something different today. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a uh, composite clean and pencil kit. Um, actually, before I before I go ahead, I'll, I'll just say that I am not affiliated with these in any way whatsoever. Um, neither is Unearthed. Um, but yeah, I won this. I won this little kit. It's called the Trio Pack. Um, I won it in a little competition and the only reason I'm going to do a little review on it or not so much a review really I'm just going to sort of use it and show you show you how I use it is because uh, I had a little go with it the other week and uh, the coin the coin that I did was a little Vicky uh, veil head uh, one penny and it came out absolutely stunning so to me I mean something like this 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 is absolute brilliant little product uh this is from graham dempsey um like i say mate great great product really impressed with it. this is like i say this is this is the trio pack so you get the uh you get the pencil the little case um a little pack of the extra tips you got the composite soft tip which is the white one and the composite the black one is the uh sort of hardened tip for sort of crustier stuff you get a little um little bit of instructions on here tell you what's what um, like I say really well put together as well uh, and you get the little pot of preserve it wax which personally I, I'm it, it's a bit thick for me I, I don't I'm not too keen on that so I, I actually use the um, I use Renaissance wax uh, a little bit stinkier the, the good thing with this is it doesn't smell no smell with this whatsoever but yeah I do I do like my Renaissance wax I've always used it so I'll, uh, I'll probably continue to use that, but obviously that's not part of the pack. Um, but yeah, preserve it wax, that's called. But yeah, I've got a few little coins here um, that I've found recently. I think I'll probably have a little go at a little Roman today, maybe this one, just to sort of show you how, how it all goes. Obviously I'm not going to use it on a hammered coin, although it is a little beauty, but yeah, I don't want to scratch that up in any way whatsoever, so that's... That can stay. <laughs> that was just one of the coins that I found. Um, but yeah, obviously something like this. I mean, that's a well, you can barely make it out. But I think that's a George, maybe George's second. But I mean, it's completely smooth. You're never going to get anything out of that. That's that's not you know, it's not feasible. Um, but yeah, especially these these little little Roman coins. Definitely, they they're going to come up uh, reasonably well. So uh, yeah. We'll have a little go and I'll uh, I'll talk you through it and show you how it goes. Right guys, here we go. Um, yeah, we'll just start with the little, the white composite tip. And we'll just start by going in between all these, you'll, you'll see all the, the, the dirt that comes away. The grime and the, obviously being very gentle because obviously a Roman, these Roman coins are quite crusty. Um, my best to uh, keep the camera fairly steady. I'm sort of leaning on the tripod. <laughs> it's the first time I've sort of done anything like this. So, but yeah, like I say, I just, I just really thought this is a great product. I really, really was impressed. Um, I'll put some pictures up of that coin that I did before. Well, I've already put those up, um, but I'll put some more up as well I did a little Roman coin it came out absolutely brilliant um, but yeah you can see these more crusty sort of areas here I'll, uh, what I'll do is in a little while I'll swap over onto the the black uh, insert just give that a little go around that hopefully that'll be able to sort of take some of that off but yeah this won't take any patina off or anything like that it'll uh, just take the grime off from in between all those little detailed bits as you can see I'm sort of flicking all the, the nasty stuff out from between it all let's say just go in between all the little bits of detail that you want to bring out the writing and the sort of image on the back here let's say some crusty bits I might take some of that off You have to be sort of careful with the corroded areas because obviously they're gonna 
you'll just end up pushing those through onto the into the coin a bit further you know you're not going to get anything out of those areas just want to get all in these little detailed lines and see everything nice and clearly anyway Just give it a little, a little bit of a, a rub, gently, just to clean some of it off. I think there is a fluid you can use for giving it a little clean off. But like I say, I've only got the this sort of the cheaper, uh, the trio kit, which I won. Um, I probably will be buying some of the other nibs, to be honest. That you that you can get the little brass brush and other little handy handy bits you know there's a lot more to it nice little case they do as well um, a little 3d printed looks rather good I quite like the look of that holds all the little tips and the pencil and sorry moving off the camera there aren't we um, <clears throat> but yeah what I'll do is I'll give this a little bit more of a, a clean up and then I'll uh, I'll come back. See all the uh, dirt and that coming off on the paper here. There's, there's a lot come off it already. I mean, I've already sort of soaked this. I, I like to soak my Roman coins in um, distilled water or deionized water, actually. Um, I give them a good little soak in there and give them a little gentle brush. Gets rid of most of the grime off them. Um, but yeah, like you, like you say, you can see the amount is still coming off. Obviously it's quite corroded in places, you're not going to get it perfect. Nothing's ever going to get 2,000, well not 2,000, 1,700 years of uh, corrosion off a coin, you know. But you can certainly bring out some more of the detail anyway. What I think I'll do is I'll just uh, swap the nib here for the the black sort of hardened tip. Just get in this top area here. I'm hoping this comes out nice and clear. I don't know what the uh, focus will be like, but it's just a slightly harder tip where that sort of really rough area was you can see it's nearly gone just gets in between there just those sort of tougher tougher areas and there's no specific way of doing this it's just a case of using your different tips and where you sort of think you know whatever you think is best Sort of, sort of getting somewhere now. All 
right guys as you can see it's, uh, it's really starting to come out nice and nice and clear now the detail um, I mean, the other side you can see how much crust was on there I haven't touched that side yet probably will just get you can see there's quite a bit of blue sort of corrosion on there but yeah that's getting there anyway I'll give it a little bit more and uh, and then we'll uh, I'll probably just clean this other side up and we'll give it a wax up and and see how she comes out should come out all right so we'll just give the other I'll give the other side a little going over gently um, I shan't use the hardened tip on this side because like I say there's a little bit of corrosion on there I don't want to take that any deeper than it was the, uh, the wax will get into that and preserve that anyway and stop it corroding any further hopefully Obviously, I don't want to wax it up with this side still uh, <laughs> as grimy as it is. We'll get it, give it both sides, and it's, uh, it's going to be difficult to get in those uh, a little bit where the eyes and that are, just gently, especially with that bit being corroded. Let's say you're not, you're never going to get these a hundred percent with anything, I don't think. But you, you know, you, you're really going to bring out. 80% of the detail and what's left anyway it's definitely going to be better than it was Let's say you're just getting in all those little lines little nooks and crannies bringing out that detail around the and his bust and this little Constantine, I think this one. Most of what we find are Constantine, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll come. Quite therapeutic, this. <laughs> Once you sort of start, you can keep going for hours on. Really is satisfying, especially when the uh, you see the end result. Plus, it's nice on a rainy day when you've got nothing else to do, and you can't be out there detecting. Well, you can. <laughs> yeah, I'll get this side cleaned up, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. Right, I certainly think that looks uh, the the details certainly coming out of there nicely. Um, so I had a go at the other side. Let's like say that's quite quite a corroded one, so it's not going to be it's never going to be perfect. Um, but what I'll do is I'll we'll get some wax on there and uh, we'll see how it comes out. The wax does make a huge difference. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that's a lot better than it was. Yeah, we'll have a little go at the wax. All right, guys, with the wax, I just like to um, get some on my fingers and then just gently massage it into the coin. Get plenty on there, and you'll start to see it really come out if you can get it right into the detail. A little bit more. Get it on there, nice and thick. Get a good layer on there because you've got a buff. You've got to buff it up with a sort of little soft cloth afterwards, anyway. So, got to sort of let it dry for five to ten minutes. Five minutes is probably all right. Yeah, as you can see, it's already looking quite nice. It really does bring that green out. I'll just put one more little layer on there, I think. Get it right into where those corroded bits are as well, that'll help. Just stop it corroding anymore, protect it from the air. 
like to get it right around the, the rim of the coin as well, right around the edge. There we go, I'll just leave that sit there for a little while to, to dry up and we'll come back. Okay, here we go. Um, it's had about sort of five minutes or so to to dry up, five, ten minutes. Just give it a nice gentle buff up now with a, I like to use a little microfiber cloth. It seems to work well, gets in all the nice little, you know, it just it just gets in between all the detail and buffs up nicely. And hopefully you can see how much of the the uh, detail is actually coming out on here. So I think that's quite amazing really, considering what it was to start with. Yeah, just keep sort of gently buffing it. Like I say, you can uh, always put another layer of another layer of wax on if you like. Um, getting a nice bit of a shine to it now. Look, that's incredible. Really is in incredible. You can see how dull that is after the wax has sort of dried up on it. Starts to give it a nice little bit of a shine to it. Let's say that side's not great. It's got quite a bit of corrosion in the detailed areas, to be honest. Um, but that is how it is. 16, 1700 year old coin is going to have some some coin. It just amazes me how they come up, to be honest. How they come out of the ground like that after that amount of time. There you go, look at that. Like I say, not the best on that side, but I think that's quite a good example, really, This how well this side's come up. And that is uh, preserved now as well, and it you know it'll stop any any more rot occurring or um, corrosion. Stop the air moisture in the air getting to it, so it's, it's protected as well. But yeah, what an amazing little product! Really impressed with that. Brilliant. Yeah, well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, a little bit, like I say, something a little bit different. Let's, uh, before we go, let's have a look at a hammered coin. Everybody loves a hammered. <laughs> There's a little Henry the Third. Um, that's a what was it? A class five A three, I think, something like that. Uh, Nicole on London, London Mint. Beautiful little coin. Look at that. Look at his little bust on there. Wonderful stuff. All right, I'll um, I'll leave the link in the description below for um, composite cleaning pencils. I think it's called uh, I think it's cleaningpencils.co.uk or cleaningpencil.co.uk. I'll, I'll double check. I'll put it up anyway. And um, but yeah, thanks very much, Graham Dempsey for such a great product and I hope I've done it proud <laughs> I'll put some more pictures up now as well of those other coins all together and this one from the beginning to now so you can see the difference thanks very much everybody I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.